I purchased the Lenovo Yoga 13, which is also called the Lenovo Idea Pad, and I am loving it. It is $9.99, so about $1,000 just under, but by the time you pay for tax, it'll be more. 4 gigs of RAM, 128 gig SSD. So, and an i5 processor, available with an i7, available with 8 gigs of memory, and aftermarket, you can pick up a 256 gig SSD. I bought this from the Best Buy, so I bought it as configured, which means that I have the 4 gig with 128 gig SSD. I'm going to do a video on how to upgrade the, to 8 gigs. I may tell you how to do the 256. We're going to see how bad the install is before I guarantee that I'm going to tell you how to do it. So, I love it. It is a convertible Ultrabook. So, it's got the touch screen and it's got a trackpad and it's got a very nice keyboard because it's a Lenovo and Lenovo always has the best keyboards. But it also does this. And it does this. And it does... Give it a shake. Ugh! There it goes. Sorry, I'm sitting at kind of an angle so it doesn't actually have enough gravity to detect it. But, so it works in all of these modes. And at 3.3 pounds, it's not too heavy to use as a tablet. And I actually find myself using this mode a lot. It also has what they call a tent mode where they say you should go like this. I don't really know anybody that would want to do the tent, but I find that resting it on the keyboard face up is great when I'm doing dual monitor support because I attach a keyboard and mouse and then this sits under my primary monitor and I get the two screen experience and this is very reach out and touchable. So I will find myself manipulating stuff on the screen with the touch interface even when I'm multi-screening. And multi-screening works very well because I have an HDMI port, I've got a USB 3 port, I've got a USB 2 port, and I've got an SD card reader. So that's basically the you know, advantage is that I'm getting a fully featured PC in a form factor that is every bit as good as something like an iPad. It's under $1,000, so it's pretty affordable. It's powerful enough that I'm doing all of my development work in it, which is fairly impressive because on my MacBook Pro, um, the fans spin up and it just bogs down when I'm doing a lot of things with some of my Python development. So this hasn't had some of those issues. It's also whisper quiet compared to just about every other laptop I've owned. Um, and it doesn't get too hot sitting on my lap when I'm working on stuff, which is very nice. Um, the downside really is that 128 gig SSD. A lot of people are going to find that's going to be too small. Because it's got an SD card reader, um, I'm planning to either, if I can't get the 256 gig upgrade to work, or even if I do, I will probably put a 256 gig SD card in the SD slot so that I've got that for all of my regular document stuff. And then I've been finding that because of SkyDrive, I can get around having necessarily all of my stuff on there. And we've moved to the Office 365, so a lot of my exchange that was like 8 gigs of email is now up in the cloud, which is helpful as well. So I've been pretty happy with this. Um, the only downside that I can think is you only get an HDMI port, um, so there's no good way to plug into a VGA projector. Um, you know, the, the MacBooks have those DisplayPort adapter thingies, so you can in fact do VGA, DVI, and HDMI, which is kind of nice. Um, a USB to VGA dongle would solve that. Um, I don't think they have an HDMI to VGA dongle that would work with this, but um, I love the screen. It's 1600 by 900, which is a slightly odd resolution, but it's got about the right pixel density for reading documents. The display is very high contrast. It works well even in pretty broad daylight. Um, it is a gloss screen rather than a semi-matte, which means that the glare is a little higher, but the I think they did that because it doesn't show the fingerprints. So that's worked out very well for me. And after using it for a week, 
I couldn't be happier. Um, I really, really like this. And I'm still a little iffy on Windows 8, but in this form factor, Windows 8 is rocking for me, and there's a separate video that talks about my feelings on Windows 8. Oh, and I will link to where you can purchase this from Amazon in the description.